This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? Welcome you back to the Dice Winning Network. Another season of DSN High School Basketball coming your way here in the peak of Thanksgiving. We have Lawyer Blakefield hosting the Gerstel Academy Falcons. Falcons lost to St. Francis Saturday up in Finksburg. Their record of 0 and 1 to start the season. And Lawyer with the ball now, 1 and 0, beating Archbishop Curley on Friday nights in a 55 36 win for them. Stanton has the ball now. You recognize Jeremiah Stanton. He was at Northwestern, now here at Gerstel for his sophomore campaign. Big fella there, Tinley. Back over is Malone, one of the captains. Stanton, two on the shot clock. Stanton's got to put it up. Oh, and missed it. Did not go, Fox. Has it back over to Smith and count the basket and one for Cam Smith. He gets it in and the and one is coming up. Dawn's coming off the Friday night game. Went off to 11 1 lead, now a 34 22 lead at the half. Fisher dominating the game to 6 7 junior. An offensive rebound there. And a fresh shot clock as Hepting has it. He kicks it over. Fisher. Inside. That one tipped and missed there by Smith. Back over the other way is the Falcons. Malone kicks it on over. Big fella. Got it on the outside. Stanton swings. Almost lost the ball. That's a three for Malone. That one tipped and missed. The ball goes out of bounds and it's going to stay with Lawyer. The Dons here. Very well played last year in the uh, MIAA conference, making the postseason. As well as the BCL. He uh, eventually lost to John Kell in the BCL semifinals a year ago. That one's inside. Up and in, it goes home. And Cam Smith puts it in. Early 4-0 lead for the, for the Dons. Nice swing. Malone. That's a jump from the big fella. He puts it in. Tinsley puts the two home. And a couple points there for the Falcons. Fox brings it back over. Captain, that's a long jumper, and Young couldn't finish it. Here comes Gerstel. That's a jumper, that one tips high, and the ball will stay with the Falcons here. Two-point lead, 42 for a lawyer. The Dons are in the white home jerseys, and the Falcons are in their bold blue jerseys here in this one this evening. We'll be with you here every Monday outside of the holidays. It's coming up next week. Mount Camo and St. Francis will be back down in East Baltimore for that good one. Tinsley, shot clock at eight. Malone trying to get something happening. Stanton had to pull it out for three. Oh, Nets! Jeremiah Stanton drops it in. And Gerstel Academy up five to four. In the B Conference, they won it a year ago. Beating Severin in the final. Off the glass and in by Young. Got it right in the lane and puts it home. Jeremiah Stanton brings it up. Back over is Thompson. T 
Tinsley at the top of the key hands. And a travel. Their feet was moving, and the ball back to Loya. One point game, six to five. Here in the backdrop, we was coming in early, me and my main man, Alexander Johnson, a.k.a. AJ, and seeing Loya getting ready for the Turkey Bowl on Thursday against Calvert Hall. Trying to get a steal, no good. All the way to the lane, it goes in as Fisher. Fisher had an amazing night at Auspice of Curly and trying to continue that run. Three point lead here for Loy, eight to five. Carpenter had it briefly back over to Tinsley. Antoine Thompson drives and he's shooting two. Two shot foul coming up. First shot here. Thompson rattles it home. Second shot. That one spins around the bam, no good. So the ball now to Hefting. It's a two point game for Loya. Lead eight to six. Here in the first quarter. 3.54 here left in the quarter. Inside and a foul. Fisher's coming to the line to shoot two. Second team foul against Gerstel. We will get Gerstel in the upcoming weeks at Mount St. Joe's and then at CCBC Catonsville on December 8th, taking on the City College. So, defending B Conference champs and that first free throw for the 6 7 junior did not go in. Gerstow Academy, as we finish up the set and set, will be very busy here in the first coming weeks of the young season. Second shot rattles home. One of two. It's 9 6. Carpenter passed it up. Harrison had it briefly. Carpenter brings it over, kicks it. Top of the key now, shot clock at 14. Harrison pulls up and did not go, front end short. Back over to Fisher, he brings it up, kicks it over. Hepting from downtown, missed it. Ball back to Malone, he brings it up. Now he swings it over to Carpenter. Couple ball swing back, back over to Carpenter again. And swings back over to Thompson. Thompson drives, he brings it back to Malone. Shot clock at 11. They're yeah, swinging the ball everywhere, trying to get that offense going. Five, four, that's them downtown, hits it! How about that one? Nice three, we're tied at nine. A very competitive first quarter here. Start off our season here on the Dice Building Network. Back over. Well, that's a, oh, that might have been a drive right there. Young got it in, though. He got it in. And there's a two point lead back to the Dons. Harrison had it briefly. Back over to Tinsley. And a foul. Foul is called. Second team foul against Loya. First shot here for Thompson. Hits all net. Substitutions coming in. Reynolds and Nakam in the game. Second shot rolls in. We're tied at 11 with 2.05 here left in the first quarter. Very 
entertaining match. Just witness La Jolla JV winning overtime against Kirstow. The matchup that was. Back inside, foul off the ball against the Falcons. And they call holding there. Barea, Baretha, excuse me, comes in from long. Nice substitution. Malone will him. My apologies. Hapting will inbound. Throw it up. Reynolds has it. Back over inside. Reynolds. Shot clock down to 19. That's a three and it spins in and out. Ball's going to go to Gerstow. Carpenter brings it up. Tinsley at the top of the key. Pull up jumper. That one's short. And Fisher with the rebound. Seeking up Fisher, he has his back now. He's going all the way, and he traveled. He walked there, and the ball back to the Falcons. Substitution in the game, and Starfagus is in. Bowetha. Holding on on the other side there as Carpenter brings it up. Kicks it back over to Harrison. Harrison putting some moves in. Harrison gets it back from Thompson. Harrison goes up. And a foul. 13 foul against Loya. So we have been stalemated 11 for a while as Harrison gives Gerstow the lead. Gerstow got a lot of recognition a year ago. They pulled off some upsets early in the season and then had a good outing in the B Conference, leading themselves all the way to the MIA B Conference Championship. This year's a new season. Second free throw here coming up. And that one rattles in. Both of them are good. And Reynolds brings it up. Seconds left here. Shot clock Gamecock is about seven seconds apart from each other. That's a three. And that's air. Foul inside against Gerstel. And it's off the ball, by the way. So Gardner will inbound for Loya. Shot clock is off. 30.5 here left in the quarter. 13-11 game. And inbound it in and do over to Reynolds. Backing it up. Kicks and a travel. 23.9 left and Gerstow with a two point lead. Gets the ball. Trying to put some points up for the quarter ends. Stanton drives all the way to the basket. Offensive foul, a charge. And with five seconds left, exactly. Lawyer got a shot to tie it up or even take the lead with a three.
Drive three, two, Reynolds gave it up at the buzzer. No good by Hefting. And after one, the defending MIA B Conference champions, Gerstel, is up 13 to 11 over Loria here at home. And that's our first mini break. We give you the flex zone. Our man Jason on from this week's episode. Dallas Cowboys back in the NFC race. They look like they're in the driver's seat right now in the NFC's race. The NBA action as well. A little extra to give on your stuffing in Turkey. The Flex Zone every Monday night, 10 p.m. on the WBGL Sports Network. On Facebook Live as well as the Flex Zone's Facebook page as well. So as the second quarter about to commence here, see how both teams adjust to the other. As early, Gerstel has been able to use the free throw line to their advantage. The bad news is for Gerstel, they do have five team fouls, which means that Lawyer can get them in foul trouble two more times, and then the Dons will be shooting at one and one. So that'll be huge for them as well. So both teams trying to fill each other out. Second game of the season. Well, still trying to find out who you are, what's your identity. So, Gerstow will get the ball to start the second quarter. The Mars die, and Alexander Johnson here on the audio and camera work with you here at the Jeff, the Jerry Savage court. Harrison back over. The big fella in the game now, Matthews. That's what he does. Harrison off the screen. That's a three in the corner. That one tipped and missed a rebound to Cypher. Fast break. Caught it. But not enough from Gardner to keep it. And the ball's going back to Gerstel Academy. Gerstel Saturday. It was the battle of uh, champions. They took on the BCL, defending BCL champion St. Francis. As they did a year ago at St. Francis. Then, as Harrison puts it up and it's bent out on him. Back the other way, a foul. And let's see what the foul is on. I think it's an offensive. It's a foul against Chris Towns. That's his 16 foul, like we sang in between quarters. One more foul, and uh, Loya will be shooting the one and one. It's Coach Josh Devell, 14th year, trying to get things settled with his uh, Loya Dons here. They're still down by a deuce. It's unlike the other night against Curley, as that's a 17th foul. And there goes the one and one, and early in the second quarter, literally the second quarter left, and Loya can be shooting free throws quite a bit here. which we have seen so far, it means that uh, Loya has dominated the inside paint. That first shot goes for Hefton. He's going to be shooting the N1. My apologies, he's going to be shooting one more here coming up. Second shot goes in. We're tied at 13. As Bretha gave it up. Here to... Carpenter back over to Stanton. He swings over to Harrison. And Harrison swung it over briefly. Matthews back over to Harrison. That's a kick. That's a three. In and out. Almost an offensive rebound. And a foul against Loya. The big fella, Matthews, coming up to shoot two. Six thirty-eight here left in a half. We are tied at thirteen apiece here. First shot, got it by the big man. 
junior forward, 6'6". Six, six. Nice footwork at the line, as you see here. In and out. One point lead for Gerstow. Hefting. Almost lost the handle. Kicks it back over to Smith. Smith drives and then to Hefting. Back over to Nickel. And a foul. So, 18 foul against Gerstow. And Lawyer going to be shooting the one and one. Substituting for East Side. That's Fisher and Tinsley, respectfully, for both teams come in. Tinsley for Gerstow and Fisher for Lawyer Blakefield. First shot, got it. And the 6 5 senior ties the game at 14. Second shot here coming up. Got them both. One point lead for La Jolla, 15 to 14. Nice outlet pass, Tinsley. Shoots no good. And the rebound over to La Jolla. Turned it over. Gerstow got numbers, four on one. Stanton inside, counted in one more. Lead back to Gerstow and the end one to come. The end one goes in. Two point lead back to the Falcons. Captain got it stolen from him. Stanton behind his back and Stanton off the glass and missed it high. I be thought some contact there, but no call. It is contact there. And Fisher will be coming up to the line to shoot the one on one. So again, foul trouble coming an issue here for Gerstow. So we'll be back with you next Monday night here on the Dice Swimming Network for Mount Carmel and St. Francis back in East Baltimore. So here in northern Baltimore County. That one missed offensive rebound. Briefly, ball on the deck. Jump ball is called. As you know, timeout is called by Gerstel. So 544 here left in the uh, first half. And this one's been a good one so far, 17-15 game. That, that's going, you figure, but both teams again trying to fill each other out. And we got Lloyd's upcoming schedule here, including Crystal Ray Jesus tomorrow, actually Tuesday night, as you're hearing this. And then next week, they'll be at Spalling, right after the Thanksgiving holiday. And then next Wednesday, they get the whole St. Maria ready, go ready. And St. Maria go ready, excuse me. And we have seen them or... Uh, R.G. Bankley and company. What a what a team that is. So that's Lawyer's next couple games. Like I said, we will see Gerstow Academy in two weeks again when they play Mount St. Joe's down in the Smith Center in southwest Baltimore City. But right now, Gerstow. Holding on to a two-point lead here. That's a foul. 16 foul against Lawyer. One more. They put Gerstel in the one and one. Carpenter brings it up. One of the captains here in Gerstel. Swings it back over to Stanton. Harrison has it. Harrison with the crossover. Back over. Wide open three is Stanton. Tipped and miss. Rebound to Fisher. Swings it back over. Now come back. Over to Fox. Fox puts it up. Crossley blocked. Back comes Gerstel. Pull up jumper. That one tipped and miss. 
There comes Loya back the other way. Kicks it back over. Fisher pulls up. That one tipped and missed. Tinsley with the rebound for Gustell, and they're bringing it back up the court. Back the other way to swing. The layup, it is good! What a drive there by Noble. And it's a four point lead for Gerstel. Fisher back over to Reynolds with the ball now. He kicks it over to Cam Smith. Smith, crossover. Kicks it back over to Nangum. Fisher inside. Had a mismatch there. That's a three, and that hits for Fox. That cuts the lead to one now for Gers. Tell is a 19-18 game. Carpenter kicks it back to Stanton. Stanton's double teamed. He brings it back over to Carpenter. And a foul inside on Tinsley, and he's shooting the one and one. Tensley at the line. Full three here left in the half. And Rostel, Falcons, and the Rogue uniforms hanging on to a one point lead. Hits the first. Second shot, spins out. One of two as Fox brings it down. Doyle trying to re take the lead with a three. That one's inside off the glass and in. Young ties it at 20 for Loya. Kicks it back over now. Noble has it. Also a dribble inside, puts it up, no good. Fisher. And he's fouled, and this means two shots now for Loya as Gerstel is over the foul limit. First shot, got it. Second shot. Got them both. So Loya back up by two now. And a two point advantage for them. Harrison pulls back over. That's a three for Carpenter. That one tipped and missed. Trying to get that rebound. Did not go out of bounds. It's going to stay with Loya. Loya's going to get the basketball here. Fisher brings it up. And a foul again. Noble got up in Fisher a bit much there, and a 3.07 left. Lawyer Blakefield is going to be shooting at two. Fisher back in the line, shooting two. First shot, got it. Boy is home opener. The second shot goes. Four point lead now. And as we said earlier, Loya using the free throw line to be able to get the job done. Stanton for three. That one's been out. Grabbing the rebound is Cam Smith. And the ball tapped out of bounds by a Gerstel player. And Loya is gonna, gonna keep it. 2.54 here left in the first half. Fisher. Over to Reynolds. That was a long pass, was able to get the young 
Fisher drives now with it, puts it up and goes in. Fisher starting to assert himself in the game here at a 6-7 junior. Carpenter. That's a long distance three. Hits it. Cuts the lead in half. 26-23. Back over. Turns it over. Carpenter kicks it. That's a three. That one tipped and missed there by Thompson. Offensive rebound by Tinsley. Didn't go in. Smith. The long arms there. Got it. That's a three from Fisher. That one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound there by Young. And turned it over. I think there's Tell. They can tie it with a three. And as they say, don't need to as of yet. Down to the 92nd mark here in the first half. Harrison drives, dish. Oh, went up high and missed it by Tinsley. Young gives it up to Reynolds. Fisher back over. And the ball steps out. 112 left, Gerstel gets it back. Harrison. Kicks it back over. Trying to do something else with it behind. That's a foul, definitely. And going to be shooting two. So Thompson, 54.4 left, trying to get Gerstow back within one if he can hit both free throws here. First shot, got it. 26-24, again a very entertaining first half here. Second shot here, got it. One point advantage for La Jolla. As again, the MIA B Conference champions, Gersh Tell. Not gonna go away, Fisher kicks it over. Smith for three. That one's no good, but Young got the rebound on the first shot clock. Yeah, it's Reynolds' turn. That one tips up and high. Fisher with them long arms got it. And the spin did not go in, but two shots is coming. For Mitchell Fisher. And again, Loya has dominated here on the free throw line. Well, when the ball do comes back. 38.3 left. Shot clock rain count be about a three second difference between the two. First shot. Got it. A load of substitutions coming in for Loya. Second shot here. That one goes in two. So it's a three point game. As Carpenter brings it, he kicks it over. The big fella there, Matthews. Kick it back out for three. Hits it! Here's Harrison. He ties it at 28. Shot clock is off. 22 seconds and counting left. Double team and a foul. A reach in. 18 seconds left exactly and two shots coming up here for Lord. First shot, no good. That thing couldn't get that top bounce to drop. Second shot here. That one goes. So one of two. It's a one point game here for Loya. 
Harrison, six on the shot clock. On the game clock, excuse me. Five, four, kicks it, pulls up, tipped and missed, and that's the half. And at halftime, Loy is up by one at home, 29-28 over the Gerstal Academy. Back with the second half here on the Dice Winning Network right after this. Back here in the second half. About to get underway here. Morris Die here on play by play. Alexander Johnson on the camera and audio. And no doubt here in the first half, Gerstal Academy bringing it strong. And Fisher goes up, gets the call, and coming up to shoot two. Loya is up 29 28 here in this one. Both teams' second games of the season. Just joining us. Gerstal Academy hosted St. Francis over the weekend on Saturday. He was defeated. And Loya went on the road and went in to East Baltimore at Old Mr. Curley. He was able to win 55-36. Both free throws go. One of two there as that one missed there by Carpenter. Here comes Loya and Hapting. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Over the back. Over the back foul against Loya. And both sides got a foul apiece now. Malone had it briefly. Gives it to Carpenter. Back over to Tinsley. He kicks it back. That went inside and a foul is called. So Carpenter's coming up to shoot two. This is 31-28 for Loya. Third team foul already against the Dons. And more of the first half was trying to dictate tempo. First shot goes. Second shot here coming up. Here by Carpenter. Got it. Both of them goes. Fox brings it out. It's a one point game. I think back over to Young. Young kicks it on the outside. That's a three from Fox up front and short. Bat in the air. Finally, Harrison. Fergustel gets it down. Kicks it over to Carpenter. Fakes. Stanton on the baseline. And he was forced out. Foul. And now it's a third team foul against uh, Lawyer. They weighed one off. Shot clock reset. Fakes it as Malone drives. Offensive foul. Offensive foul, Loya catch a break there and they get the ball back. Fox gives it up. The Metro back over to Fox and now Hefting, he kicks it over in the corner. Smith trying to do something with it. Back inside to Fisher. Fisher got a mismatch, he was doubled and Tensley was able to deflect the shot temporarily and the ball back over to Gerstow Harrison. He drives. And a foul. Fourth team foul against the Dons. That one's going to come out of bounds here. One point game here for Loya. They won't get their first MIA conference run until Monday night as well in the BC out. A nice offensive rebound. Staten wide open. That one tipped and missed. Tinsley had got the rebound. And then Fox stole it away from him. And the ball's thrown away. And Loya turns it over. And Gerstel gets it back. And the ball back. Back 
Tinsley has it. Him and Young for it. Malone kicks it back over. Swings it over the other way. Shot clock at 14. That's a three. That one tipped and missed for Thompson. Rebound over to Hepting and Loya. Fox, kick it back over. Fisher inside, when he gets in that lane, he usually scores and he does there. 33-30. Swing over to Carpenter. Back over to Malone. Harrison. Ooh, Harrison steps back, shoots. Tipped and miss. Fisher again with positioning gets the rebound. Hepting. Tried to force it, it does, and a turnover. Inside off the glass. Offensive foul. As Thompson went in wild and turned it over. Back and forth affair in this one, I tell you. Gerstow some credit, they show a lot of heart. Fox. Young fakes it, he gives it back up to Fox. Back over to Newcomb. Crossover. Young inside. Puts it up, that one's no good. And Malone gets the rebound for Gerstow. Falcons trying to do something with it here. Carpenter. Off the screen, and it's tapped out of bounds. Ball's gonna stay with the Falcons here on their end of the court. Stanton is back in the game. <laughs> Jeremiah Stanton seen him in the sophomore matchup at the Super 80 Showcase in the summertime. Brings it back over. Carpenter. And a foul. 15 foul already against Loya here. 353 here left in the uh, third quarter. Be a lot of free throw shooting in the fourth, looks like. And a foul off the ball against Gerstow Tinsley. And it's a fourth team foul now, so both teams combined already have nine fouls here in the second half. And we are under the four minute mark. Fisher kicks it over to Hapting. Inside, reversal goes for Nickham. Biggest lead for Lawyer, five, 35-30. Kicks it back, Stanton drives. Nice pass to Matthews, and he got a strip from him clean by Hapting. Hapting brings it up for the for lawyer Blakefield. The big fella missed it on the front end. Other way, Stanton pulls up. Tipped and missed. Foul inside. And a foul against Loya. 16 foul. That's Loya Blakefield. Harrison will inbound. Kicks it back into Stanton. And Carpenter with it. Back over to Stanton. His three game has not hit much today. And that will continue here at the moment. Fox. Got it. Took it from him from Stanton. Two on one fast break. Inside. Tried to finish it. No good. Foul inside, 15 foul against Gerstow.
Seven fouls already combined for both teams. And Loya, one more foul, and they will put Kirsten out the line long before the full quarter will even begin. 2.57 here left in the third. Kristaus getting what they want. Fisher almost lost it. And he's fouled, 16 foul against Kirstow. Both teams now, they foul the other, will put them in the one and one. It's been a very physical third quarter here between these two. And took it away. And it's going to stay with Loy. Almost had to steal with Thompson, but it went off his hands as it went out of bounds. Off the knee. 2.46 here left in the quarter. And a steal. Good news is the outlet, the band is it wasn't there. Oh, wow. Ball tapped out. The lawyer's going to get it back. And on the other end of the court, we have an injury. And I believe, I believe that's Fisher on the ground. And if it is, it's not a good thing. Fisher went off the court in his own power. It's always a plus. Definitely want to see that. That's one of Loyola's best players. Foul is called on the other end. <laughs> Throw shot goes in. Biggest lead now for Loya is six. And it's going to be seven. Fisher got it in. Actually, the injury, my apology, was on Hepting, not Fisher. That's a three, tipped and missed. The outside game just not there right now for first time. Swings over. Reynolds back over to Fisher. And time out there by La Hoya. So, 
come out the timeout. So we had a little bit of dead air there. Here comes Reynolds. Two minutes left exactly in the third. And a foul. 18 foul. Two shots here. As we said earlier, both teams going to be living off the free throw line here in the fourth. That one goes. Lead increased to eight now. Second shot here. Got it. Actually, it missed. So it was one of two. It's an eight point game, 38 to 30 for Loya. That's a three. Hits it big time. Carpenter with a big time three. Cuts the lead to five. Trying to play defense now, Sally. And another turnover. Back comes Gerstel. 127 here left in the third. Inside. Kicks it back over. Stanton pulls up for two. Tipped and miss. Had adjusted himself. And offensive foul. Seconds left here in the corner. Carpenter again, hits again. Carpenter's got the stroke now, he's got hot. 38-36, two point game again. Ball in the air, almost turned over. Back over. And they call a foul. 19 foul against Gerstel. So Smith will shoot two. That's right, Blue. Let's do this. One and one missed. Shot clock and clock is equal. Stanton for the tie. He goes up, jump ball. They will stay with Gerstel on their end. Back over. And a foul. That should be the one and one there. 24.5 left. So both teams in the fourth quarter, the foul situation, pretty much you get tapped. There's going to be some shooting going on regardless on either side. First shot. Got it in there. That was nice by Beretta. Second shot here for the tie. He got it. So that eight point lead that Loya had briefly has gone away. And it is now a tied game. It is tied at 24. Excuse me, it's tied at 38. Turnover! What do we have? We have a foul, 18 foul against Loya. So again, like we said earlier, the foul situation. And 
has been huge in this one, and it's going to be huge going into the fourth quarter. Gerstow trying to take the lead and do. I think both sides being worn there. A little tussle inside between number five, Antoine Thompson of Gerstow, number 10, Reese Gardner. As indeed Hapting has come back in, he's okay. And Gerstow back up by two. Double teamed and almost turned over. It is turned over. Back the other way. It's shot off the glass and Emma Harrison. Six seconds left in the quarter. Three, two, one. And will not get it off in time. So after three, Gerstel Academy, the defending B Conference champions in the MIA Conference here in Maryland, is up by four. 42-38, and what a game we have seen here in the young season. And this fourth quarter, I advise you to stay tuned. It's going to be something special here between these two. Gerstow, pumping their pump, their point total, excuse me, up to 14. And holding Loya to only nine points here, and that has been the difference here so far, and a lot of them points for Loya was at the free throw line. Both teams with eight. Both teams with eight fouls apiece. So the one on one is in effect. And the fouls is going to be huge for both sides. And I'll tell you one thing, this one has been better than a lot of people consider advertising. Like we said last year, Gerstow. It's not a team that's afraid of playing the MIAA conference talent. Not afraid at all. We'll talk about a little more with the uh, standing configurations, but like Mount St. Joe's and St. Francis in the same conference now. How about that one? That's the fourth quarter. It's about to begin. Fourth quarter underway. Hepting with the ball. That's a three. Hits it! Big time three. And it's a one point game. Here in the fourth quarter as we begin. Retha back over to Harrison. Pulls up, that one tipped and missed. Rebound to Fox, and he gives it up to Hepting. Back over. That's inside to Smith. Smith, spin move, and he's shooting two. Nineteen foul against Gerstow. And the Smith can hit both. Yes. There's a two shot foul. If Smith can hit both, then there's a one point lead for Laurie again. And the second shot goes. One of two. Carpenter brings it up here. Back over to Beretta. Stanton, he drives. Fakes, holds. Ball back around the Carpenter now. Shot clock at 15. Harrison drives inside, that one went high. Back over the other way as Lawyer has the one point lead now. In the fourth. That's over, Young for three. That one high off the back. Offensive rebound. Dish. Fisher lost it. But it was tapped out of bounds. 
Aloya will keep it, holding on to this one point lead. This one has been in a pretty good one here, folks. Hepting. Back over inside. That one didn't go. Second chance. Wave the basket off. And a foul against the Hoya. Over the back foul. That was huge. 19 foul against the Dons. And with 631 left, this fourth quarter is about to get hot. Here at Loya, what a game. Swings it back over. Tinsley back over to Thompson. Thompson looking to drive, kicks it back over. Stanton, that one tipped and missed. Tinsley had a brief hand on it and couldn't hold on to it. And it's back over to Lawyer. Fox this time got it. He swings it over. Fisher inside. Balls everywhere. Nice save, but no. The bail as Gerstel get it. Stanton coast to coast. Lays it in and gives Gerstel a one point lead timeout. By the Falcons. 5.49 left. And what a treat we have seen here on our opening game here on the Dice Winning Network for this 2018 2019 basketball season. Man, what a matchup indeed. Take a paw. Had a little pause for the cars there. There had to take a quick breather. Got to get the voice right. You know it. The season coming at you again. First time we've come at you from Lawyer here in the Jerry Savage Court. We thank you, Lawyer Blakefield family, for their hospitality here in this one this evening and. Um, And now, look at the fast pace you see here. That's inside, that's a foul. And Smith is coming to shoot two to try to give Lawyer the lead back. First shot goes. We are tied up here as Young trying to shoot. The second one to give Lawyer the lead back. Young does, one point game again. Back and forth, you heard me say it a lot already here. And if this is what we have in store, it is here on the Dice Money Network and our high school basketball coverage here in Maryland. We're in for a treat. Carpenter passed it up, Stanton drives. Long distance pass, another chance. That one front end miss. Ball's tapped in the air, and finally Smith comes down with it. Back over the other way. Hepting kicked it out to Young. Young was on the ground briefly. Hepting back inside. Fisher kicks it over. Fox for three. Hits it, big time shot. Four point lead for Lawyer. Dons in a BCL and MA, MIAA A conference play. Showing it, and that's a foul. So both teams are over the limit now, and both teams will be shooting two the rest of the way here as we have 444 here left in this one. 
And the free throw line is going to become a very huge deal in this game. Public school in. They don't begin basketball here in Maryland until December the 5th. Right after the football season, kind of make sure both sports don't overlap each other. Um, very briefly in football action. Dunbar and have the grace to duke it out this weekend. Mervo still in it and sitting in. County in, Franklin and Dundalk. Last week, Franklin moves on, one game away from the state finals. Inside, oh, spent out. Spent out for Smith there. It's a two point game. Stanton passed up the three. Kicks it over. Thompson, see what he does. Thompson's looking to pass, he does. Stanton inside, and he is fouled. Shooting two, hard on the deck there also. And two shots will equal a tie game. Similar to the JV matchup we seen while we were setting up. Skirst Tal Academy forced the overtime there, and uh, Lawyer was able to pull it out in overtime, but. Both for Fosty and JV with the fight in them. And very good for down the line in the B Conference. And so we will see Gerstow two times between now and December the 8th. Second shot goes. We will see Loya on December the 1st at the BCL WCAC Challenge. They will open up with Bishop Empton. They will play them down in the WCAC. We are tied at 48 in this one. 3.56 left. It's right now Hapting had the ball briefly. Back over the other way. Newcomb, now it's Fisher's time. He's doubled. Man's open when he's doubled. Fox from downtown. That one tipped and missed. An offensive foul against La Jolla. Gus Tower will get it back. Tied at 48. 338 left in this one. And Gus Tower at the line trying to take the lead here. Carpenter with an amazing second half. Has hit a couple big threes. Has been at the line and hit his shots as well. That first one goes in like drinking water. Second shot here coming up. That one goes in too. 50 to 48. One possession game ball was almost turned over. And it, oh, it is turned over. Nice hustle. Time out by Gerstel. 3.32 left in this one. 50 to 48 is Gerstow Academy over La Jolla. And trying to get this big road win. It's Gerstow, Coach Thompson, getting them together. Quickly, we're going to talk about BKD Dash TV, the website where sports lives. You can check out BKD Dash TV right now. Dot net. Right under the video links here. You can click them and check it on out here. And we have NFL action on BKD Dash TV throughout the rest of the football season. And we have another articles coming your way. All right. 332 left. We have seen a good one here. Noya's home opener, and it has not been easy by a long shot. Just tell team that don't make it easy for you. A team that hustles and they say lawyer. Oh, did not pay attention. A little miscommunication there from Carpenter to Harrison. And hopefully that's not one that will hurt. Just tell in the long run. Hepting and Stanton, an interesting matchup there. And one kicks back over. Drive inside. Count the basket and one. Fisher coming up to shoot the and one. And 
What a basket there. Puts it in. One of two. Carpenter brings it down the court. Back over to Harrison. Lawyers up one. At the three minute mark. Harrison looking to dry. He shoots, gets it up to Thompson. In and out the three. Airmail over to Fisher. He pulls it back to Fox. Back over to Fisher again. They're looking inside. They get it inside. Nickham, he puts it up. Count the basket. And one more. Nickham shooting the end one and trying to get Loy a four point lead. And Tinsley, afternoon is done. Hustling hard. And the bad news is for Gerstel, their lineup is a little smaller right now than Loyola's, which all their guys but one is six feet and over for Loyola. That and one goes. Four-point lead is in. Let the ball roll here. Carpenter picks it up. 240 here left in this one. Four-point lead for the Dons. Kicks it back over. Inside, Harrison in and out. Back over the other way is Loria. Up the court, kicks it back over. Ooh, that was almost not good footwork in the tone over there. Now comes Smith. Timeout by Loria and a, a good one by Coach Josh DeVell. 19 seconds on the shot clock, 2.16 left on the game clock here in the fourth quarter. And what a game we have seen. This one has been, it's going to be one of attrition. As Tensley has already fouled out for Gerstel. Next Monday evening, come see us here on the Die Swanning Network. Be up on Tuesday or Wednesday. It'll be St. Francis hosting Mount Carmel. We did that matchup a year ago. St. Francis dominated the game. And Mount Calmo, see what they have in store. And we know St. Francis, they're going to come with it. As they're gearing up for the season. Mount Calmo, St. Francis, next week here on the Die Sporting Network, coming your way. So back here, 19 seconds on the shot clock as Fox will inbound. Four-point lead for La Jolla. They're trying to hang on in this one against the B Conference champions. Over here, going with a steal. Back the other way is Harrison. Coast to coast, and he lays it in as a two-point game with 2.05 left. Hepting has it now. At the top. Gets it to Fisher. Fisher has a mismatch on him. High pass over. That's a three. That one tips on the side. We have a foul against Gerstow off the ball. And that means two free throws. Two free throws. Thompson with the foul. And Fox is going to be shooting two. First shot, got it. Three point game. Second shot here coming up. To get a four point lead back to Loya. Fox got it. We got them both. Substitution here for Loya. Harrison. Then the ball roll as Carpenter will pick it up. Four point game, Carpenter kicks it over. Thompson. Back over to Harrison. Smaller lineup right now here. Try to behind the back pass. He got a little too fancy. And Lawyer gets it back with 134 left. And earlier, both teams are over the limit in foul. So foul is called on the defensive end. It's going to be free throw shot. 
Young drives inside. The one-hander goes in. Huge one there. One eleven left. Back over Stanton. Back over to Carpenter. Carpenter floats it up, and that one's short. Offensive rebound did not go for Harrison, but he's shooting a pair. One oh two left. And Harrison's coming at the line and two free throws here for the Falcons. First shot. Oh, front end miss. And a good time to see the front end miss here. Second shot, that one tipped and missed. So two free throw misses there by the Falcons. Young over to Fisher. They say they're trying to sell the deal. Fox, he threw it away. And that's back court. That is back court. Hapting was in the back court when he tapped the ball back. Stanton. This is still a two possession game. Carpenter inside. Went everywhere and did not get a call. Ball turned over. Gerstel with another shot blocked by Fisher. And two guys are trying to foul respectfully both for Gerstel. One of them got the call. And it was Harrison that committed the foul. So Fox, we're shooting two, 35.9, and the game clock and shot clock is exactly equal to each other. It's pretty much nine tenths of a second difference. First shot is in. And hard effort again by Gerstel, but they're gonna end up sadly dropping the 0-2. And, and Loya is gonna move on to being 2-0 here in the young season, being two. MIAB conference teams, they get a C conference champion in Crystal Ray. That one slightly tipped, but it's going to stay with Gerstel. 29.9 seconds here left on the clock. And then next Monday, they will really get into their schedule with Spalding at Spalding at Garetti. It's first Garetti and then first Mount Campbell, both here at the Jerry Savage Court here at Lloyd. Stanton for three. That one back in. Throws it up, Smith to Young, Fox. And Gerstel's not gonna foul. They're gonna let the clock run out. Gerstel Academy showing why they are the B Conference champions. A lot of fighting in the day. But here at home, Loya holds home court and wins 60 to 52. And goes to 2 0 here on the young season. The Gerstel Academy will sadly drop to 0 and 2. So. That's our final 52 to 60 as Gerstow was held to 10 points here in the fourth quarter. Loria, however, scored 22. So we say it's long to your post game coming up your way shortly here on the Die Spinning Network as we recap this one and then preview next week's matchup with St. Francis and Mount Carroll. So we'll be back shortly with a post game coming up here on the Die Spinning Network. All right, post game here on the Die Swing Network here at the Jerry Savage Court. Final score 60 to 52. La Hoya beating Gerstow today. And it was a team effort in this game for Lawyer Blakefield as most of their starters got the job done. And Gerstow Academy fighting hard, came up a bit short. They're 0 2 on this young season. They still have games against Mount St. Joe's, you'll see here on the Die Swing Network, and against the City College on December the 8th at CCBC Catonsville. Lawyer Blakefield, we will get them again on December the 1st. They take on Bishop Abitum to start off the BLC WCAC Challenge at DeMatha. Next game coming up your way, Mount St. Joe's, excuse me, St. Francis will be taking on Mount Kelmo coming up right after Thanksgiving, December and November, November 26th. So we will see you there in East Baltimore for that one. So we say so long to you here on the Dye Sweating Network. I'm DeMars Dye. Alexander 
Johnson on the camera work tonight. And we will see you at St. Francis coming up on November 26th. Happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays to you as well and your family. So long. This is Die Sporting Network.